Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever been stuck on the side of the road with steam billowing from under your hood, you know how nerve-wracking it can be. But don't sweat it. In today's video, we're diving into the causes of engine overheating and some DIY fixes that might just save your ride in your wallet. Let's dive in. First of all, let's understand why your engine overheats. Engine overheating occurs when the temperature of an engine becomes more than its normal operating range. Most engines are designed to operate within a temperature range of about 195 degrees Fahrenheit to 220 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's discuss the common causes of engine overheating. 1. Coolant Issues Coolant absorbs heat from the engine and dissipates it through the radiator. If the coolant level is low or there's a leak, there isn't enough fluid to transfer heat effectively, leading to overheating. 2. Thermostat Failure the thermostat controls the flow of coolant between the engine and the radiator. If the thermostat gets stuck closed, coolant can't flow into the radiator to release heat, causing the engine to overheat. 3. Radiator Problems The radiator cools the hot coolant from the engine. If it is clogged or damaged, it can't effectively release the engine heat, causing overheating. 4. Water Pump Failure the water pump circulates coolant through the engine and radiator. If the pump fails, coolant won't circulate effectively. This results in engine overheating. 5. Cooling fan issues. The cooling fan or radiator fan helps to draw air through the radiator to assist in cooling the coolant. If the fan fails, especially at low speeds or when the vehicle is stopped, the radiator won't get sufficient airflow, which is crucial for dissipating heat. Six. Radiator hose leaks. Radiator hoses transport coolant between the engine and the radiator. If these hoses develop leaks, coolant can escape from the system. With reduced coolant, the engine can overheat because there's not enough fluid to absorb and carry away heat. 7. Head gasket failure. The head gasket seals the engine block and cylinder head. A blown gasket can allow coolant to leak into the combustion chambers or exhaust, causing low coolant level. This results in engine overheating. 8. Blocked or leaking heater core. The heater core acts as a small radiator for the vehicle's heating system. If it's blocked or leaking, it can disrupt the engine's cooling system by reducing the flow of coolant or causing coolant loss, leading to overheating. 9. Oil issues. Engine oil lubricates the engine's moving parts and helps to reduce friction and heat. If the oil level is low or the oil is dirty, it can't lubricate effectively, leading to increased friction and heat generation within the engine. This excess heat can contribute to overheating. 10. Faulty Temperature Gauge or Sensor The temperature gauge or sensor measures the engine's temperature and sends this information to the driver. If it malfunctions, it may provide incorrect readings, leading the driver to underestimate an overheating issue. Now let's get into some DIY fixes you can try if you find your engine overheating. Firstly, check the coolant level. If your coolant is low, top it up to the recommended level. Inspect the thermostat. If it is faulty, you need to replace it. Look for any signs of leaks under your car or around the radiator, hoses, and water pump. If you find one, you might be able to patch it temporarily with a radiator sealant. If your car continues to overheat after trying these solutions, it's time to call in a professional. Driving with an overheated engine can lead to serious damage. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more automotive tips and tricks.